do the extra practice problem for the smart pilot. Uh, it seemed to be the one that gave people quite a bit of trouble on the CFA. So let's get started. <clears throat> it says you want to fly to a warm destination from Iowa since it's so cold. So you decide on Phoenix, Arizona. Um, takes six hours to get there um, from Waterloo. Turns out that's really irrelevant information because they give you uh, the flying speed 251 at 216 miles an hour. So this information, the heading of 216 is exactly like here's Waterloo and let's see, um, the heading, remember the heading is starts from north, so here's north and um, our smart pilot, that's our resultant, he's green, um, but 216, so 90, 180, 270, um, so somewhere this direction, okay, and that's our P plus W. And right here is going to be Arizona. That's a map direction, 216 degrees. Um, so 216 degrees. Um, it also tells you that um, in order to get there in six hours, you're flying at 251. So the magnitude is 251 miles an hour. <clears throat> the wind is 60 miles an hour. And that's from a heading of 175. So we'll get our blue vector out here. And from 175, well, let's find a heading 175. Heading 175 is from around here and uh, we're not quite 180. We're just shy of 180 from north. So if we're from here, here's, here's where we're coming from. That means that the wind is actually blowing like that. That's way too long of a vector. I'm going to shorten that up. Um, but that's W, right? And that has a magnitude that is equal to 60. So if we, oh, sorry, hold on. There we go. Um, if we wanted to write these things out, we would say we know. Well, well here's what we don't know. We don't know P. No clue. Comma, what we do know is the wind, right? Wind vector has a magnitude of 60. We don't know what angle yet because uh, we can't use a heading angle. Please do not use the heading angle. But we do know that any vector has an x and a y component, and those x and y components are magnitude of the vector times cosine of the angle and uh, magnitude sine of the angle. The other thing we know are P plus W. P plus W. So the smart pilot knows what direction to face to account for wind. So that's where that uh, 251 number comes in. But again, we don't know our angle exactly yet. So 251. We do know the magnitude. It tells us the speed you are going to go. Um, we just need to find what those are. So um, if we want to go back and find, um, I'll use the, the thicker pen here. Um, we What we need to do to find the angle uh, within the P plus W is uh, we need to find this angle right here because sine and cosine start at the positive x-axis. Um, well, so we know it's, you know, 90, 180. We know we're just past the 180 mark. And if that if that 216 can be helpful, let's let's use that. Well, what that turns out is 216 is 90, 180. If we have 180 and we need to get to 216, then this number here is well, let's see. 216 minus 180, that's 20, that's 36 degrees. Six degrees. So what we can do with that 36 degrees to help us find this theta is we can take 90, 180, we can take 270 minus 36. And 270 minus 36, let me change my pen. is 234 degrees and 
The nice thing about the wind is then if we want to find the angle that we use for cosine, and if we want to find that, um, I'm just going to switch these real quick. If I want to find that angle, that's just coming up here. Well, see, this, this rule reference angle, we knew that was 175. That's only 5 degrees off of vertical. So that means that we're 5 degrees off of vertical here. So in order to find this theta, it's 90 degrees plus that 5, or just 95. Right here. Here. So we can run these numbers, and we will. Um, but you just take 251 cosine and. Lily and Cramey, please step by the main office. Lily and Cramey to the main office. And take cosine 95. We get these numbers, and what we do to find P is we take this value here in the green minus well, the value from the flip. Right now, we're meeting the office right now. Take the green. Plug it in your calculator, subtract the blue, and you get your p-value. So I'm going to uh, do that here. Um, so I, I wanted to pause that just to fill that in and, and save some time here. But uh, what I did was, and I even tried to color code it here, I took the p plus w vector minus the w vector to get my red p-vector. So um, our resulting vector cosine uh, 234 times 251, that's in green here. Uh, and then I took that minus the 60 cosine 95, which is in blue. That resulted in negative 142.3. Then in our y component, we took our green 251 cosine 234, which is this number, minus the cosine of sine 95, which is this number. So when you took those two numbers and subtracted, because p plus w minus w gives us p, we got our negative 262. So at that point, we do have our plane vector of just the plane itself, which is our airspeed and heading. And uh, what we can do with that is say, OK, we need to go, <clears throat> here's our resulting vector p plus w. We want to know um, on kind of more of maybe a, a side graph here, here's just p. Um, and to find that, we went negative, so 142.3 in this direction, the negative x, and 262.8 in the y direction. So they're both negative. Um, but to find the magnitude, which is the speed itself, the, the actual miles per hour, that's just the absolute value of our p vector. So the absolute value is the um, side squared plus side squared and add them together and take the square root. So that, if I run those numbers, I get, I lost my pen there, um, the magnitude, you take the other squared, you get uh, 298.9 miles per hour. <coughs> so if we look at that, um, well, we also want to find, you know, let's just, let's just, while we're at it, let's find this alpha here. So um, that alpha, so if we said tangent of alpha, that's the opposite side, so 142, sorry, 0.3, uh, divided by 262.8. Um, so we want to find alpha. We say alpha is the tangent inverse of this um, 142. So let me run that quick. Alpha ends up at 20. Oops, I keep losing my pen. we go. Uh, alpha ends up being 28.4 degrees. Uh, but alpha is, <clears throat> it's not something we can use directly. What we have to do is, in order to get our heading, we take um, our 28 degrees from south here, and we say our heading, which always starts at north, go all the way around from north, so that's 90 to get to east, 180 to get to south, so 180 plus 28 
is 208. So our heading is 208.4. 208, there we go, 0.4 degrees. Uh, and that's, again, that's from north. And, oh, we already found our, our um, airspeed. So AS for airspeed. Um, the speedometer in the airplane should read 298.9 miles per hour. So if we review what those mean, the airspeed it makes sense that the airspeed is greater than um, what your ground speed is. Because remember, the ground speed takes into account wind. And we basically have a side slash headwind. So if I do 300 miles an hour in the airplane and I have a wind that's kind of coming at me at a, as a headwind, that will slow me down to the, the 251 miles per hour. The heading also makes sense uh, because if we need to get 216, uh, which is over here, our airplane actually has to come out um, more like this because the wind is going to push us uh, a little bit more north than that so that we end up in Arizona. So that is the smart pilot practice problem.